What's up boys, Panzerforce 3 here. Today I'm gonna be playing this game called um Midnight Racing in Roblox. And uh so this is the car I'm gonna be using for the uh for part of the video. Like probably not the entire video, obviously, but yeah. So it's an R thirty two Nissan, um GTR I have it modified. I want it to make it look like an Initial D car. So, as some of you may know, if you watch Initial D, um, there's this one character called Nakazato, um, and he drives an R32, aka Guardrail Lover. He crashes like two or three times throughout the series. It's funny. And yeah. So anyways, um, we're probably just going to be like driving around the map and um, just doing a couple of races. So um, this game, um, Midnight Racing, it actually has several maps, but Mount Otsuki, which is this map, it's my favorite. Now I turn on the game in-game radio, but that'll get me copyrighted, obviously, so don't want to miss it. So as you can see, just like this show, only the tail lights and probably the headlights are showing up. So that's funny. So we have now hit 13 subscribers at the time of recording this, which is pretty great. Quite pog moment right there. So yeah, um, this is the downhill portion of the map, and I'm, I might drift this later on. So I get into one of my rear-wheel drive cars. And, and at the moment, I'm kind of grinding for a new car, another Honda Civic, so I can put some decals on it, customize it, stuff like that. I'm currently playing on keyboard, so it, it, it can be kind of hard to control your car sometimes, but when you're turning, you just kind of just tap the, the left or right key, like um, whatever you're using. So in order to control your car in this game, it's just WASD unless you change the control mappings, which I think you can do now in the game. So yeah. I'm not really trying to go for the fastest time, because I obviously don't have the mental capacity for that. As you can see, <laughs> this proves my point. I somehow did not get impaled by the guardrail there, so I'm alive, yay. But I'm now stuck, and it's going to probably take me a bit to get out. I may have to respawn my car at this point. Oh, and I'm out. So, this area marks the halfway point of the mountain pass. And you can just keep on driving. Or you can stop at that area over there. So, it's best to drive in this game with lower graphics qualities in order to actually see further ahead of you. Because if the higher the graphics quality, the more um, effects that will be put on your screen, and those effects are meant to darken your lights even more than it does now. So, yeah, that's why I play on pretty low graphics quality settings. And then this track. Recently had an update where you now have a rally, uh, um, not rally part, but you now have um, a dirt track area, which you can see on the mini map on the bottom left. And 
we are now getting near the bottom of the mountain pass and we should be near the hub. Oversteer. Hitting the guardrails in this game is pain, which is why you should. I keep going off the road, this is so sad. So every time you finish you uh, every time you finish a lap in this game, you get money. It's not just like driving every mile you get money in this game. It's not like other ones. Which is the usual format. So in the case of mountain passes, every time you get from the bottom of the mountain to the top or from the top to the bottom, you get um, you get you get cash, which is in the form of yen. And most cars in this game cost over one million yen, so you're gonna need to grind for several, yeah, about an hour, or so I'd say. It's worth the grind, in my opinion. Though. So the, a lot of the cars I get so far in in this game, I make replicas. So, like, if I usually make them into initial B replicas, like the R32C here. So it's hard to see right now, but I also have the decals on the side. It has Moon Children, which are, of course are the Night Kids. And we are now getting to him around. Here's a running against a Ford Mustang in an uphill race. So, hopefully, once we get to the actual mountain pass part, I will have the advantage because Ford Mustangs, of course, are rear wheel drive. And R32 is a four wheel drive. So, unless I screw up horribly, then I should possibly have the advantage. Unfortunately, this car is known for understeer, especially in the initial duty, so, yeah. And I hit the wall already. So he's going to be able to speed away on this part, but once we get to a greater inclines, then I should have more of an advantage. I have to pull away now, because he hit the guardrail. So I'd say the problem with the guardrails in this game is that if you um, if you hit the center, well, if you hit the end, the edge of a guardrail in this game, your car will get completely impaled and you cannot get out. Of it. You'd have to respawn your car completely. But that's like the worst thing that can happen. Mustang is trying to catch up. Unfortunately, you cannot see other cars on the minimap, which would be kind of cool, but I also think it would be hard to track, so, yeah. So from here, I think this is where I have an advantage. Drifting during um, one of these kinds of races usually is not viable, especially, of course, going uphill, so it's best not to do that in case you think about doing it, unless you're, like, super ahead or you're just racing by yourself. Because you're able to race by yourself in this game, so you want to go for those style points and go on ahead. And even if you get in, like, if you don't win the race, you still get at least some cash, which is a nice thing. So if you just keep doing a bunch of races, then you'll get a bunch of cash. You don't even have to win all of them. That Subaru just died. At least I think it just looked like one. There's another Mustang. Not sure why I'm seeing a lot of Mustangs today. Probably need to check with this Discord server. Hairpin turn up probably went too slow. Now it looks like the person we're racing is falling behind by quite a bit. Because if you look on the left side of the, of the screen, you can 
actually see the percentage of how far we are into the race on the track. Of course, the higher the percentage, the, um, the more distance we are into the race and closer we are to the finishing. And also, if you have more people in a race, that's how much um, the higher the, uh, the first place uh, prize will be. Yeah, I think from here is where the Mustang would really start struggling. Is, in case you can't tell, this is where the inclines are really bad. So it's usually a good idea to just use your real your rear wheel drive cars for downhill races. And I completely wrecked my car. Rip. So yeah, we finished the race like kinda early I'd say. I don't know. And we won! And I leveled up, sweet. So now we can do a downhill race if we wanted to. And it's also sunrise. That Mustang just got destroyed. So I think just to grind more, I'm gonna get another race here. And the Mustang wants to challenge me again. So now you can see my R32 in full daylight. So I added uh, box fenders to all four of the wheels, and then I had some sp five spokes. I think someone's looking at my car. And I don't remember if I changed the the spoiler on in the, in the rear or not. The race is starting. Um, something that could unfortunately happen during a race is, as you can see, your car can spawn wrong. And I didn't even know that was going to happen that time, so it's a perfect time for an explanation. So, this game is not fully released at the time of recording yet. It's still in it's alpha or beta stage. So, there are still quite a few glitches and problems in the game. From sorting that out, of course. So yeah, the lo that Lotus in front is destroying us quite a bit right now. Hopefully we can catch up. Either they mess up somehow, or they just go slower. And that I just died. <laughs> I I just straight up died. Lotus is probably gonna win unless they mess up really hard at this point. I'm taking really bad racing lines and everything. It's not going well. I'm not hitting the gutter. Failing the gutter run in multiple turns. So I'm not probably not I'm probably gonna get second or third during this race. So in my opinion, keyboard racing on keyboard, um, it is quite challenging, especially when you're trying to get, when you're trying to take turns that aren't as like they aren't like hairpin turns. So hairpin turns are kind of the specialty for um, keyboard players. So you can just hold down the left or right key and just hold it. Yep, I'm gonna get third. I'm gonna get third. I'm gonna lose. I am gonna get third place. Oh, I guess not. Maybe. I don't know. So the Lotus Elise is pretty much gonna win, guaranteed. As you can see, they're having a perfect run. They have, they're already 62%. It's pretty fast. And then I think after this race, I'll just show you guys my other cars. 
I'm probably gonna turn down the volume so you guys can hear it better. So, yeah. So now we're in uh, the home stretch, basically. But we're, we're gonna lose anyways. We're gonna get second place. Or third if we mess up really bad. But I don't think we'll, we'll mess up that bad unless we impale a guardrail. Impale by the guardrail, that's no good. And I'm, I'm gonna cry. Haha. <laughs> So I think I've been playing this game for like maybe about six months total now, but I have been taking breaks from Roblox, mostly because of school. So yeah. Um, and this is this, this is basically the finish line. So yeah, we lost by I'd say about a minute or two. It was quite bad. That or thirty seconds, I don't know. And we'll drift at the end. Spin out, I guess. So yeah, that at least pretty, pretty much just whooped our butts. Mm, Mustang. Okay. And according to the scoreboard, someone DNF'd. So rip. And in case you didn't see at the beginning of the video, this is my racing avatar. Um, unfortunately, the helmet still uh, shows my chin, so it, it looks kind of weird in my opinion. But if you ignore that, then everything else looks okay, I think. And I just chose a Ferrari uh, shirt because my helmet's red, so might as well make it match. So, if we remove that car and go to my garage, you will be able to see all of my cars. So, if we go to swap car, you will see all of the cars I have. So, I have the, the uh, Hokura Civil G6. Because I was trying to replicate Shingo's car, but unfortunately, it still doesn't have any modifications for it. So, I'm just stuck with um, a red car with black rims. And then the Yokota Akina Keiichi RZS. I probably butchered the name. Um, this is actually from the Christmas event, where you had to find a bunch of snowmen hidden all over the map, and then just run into them. And if you got all the snowmen, then you got this car. So then the D13. It, I tried. I made. Two builds for this car. One of them I kind of copied for the most part that um, that poster over there, and you'll see that in a second, I think. And I also tried to copy um, another Initial D character's car. Um, sorry, my my mind is blanking right now. Um, what is it? Ikitani, sorry about that. Yeah, and then if I go to swap build, here is my alternate build. As you can see, I um, kind of copied the uh, the body and all that for the most part, I think, and then I just added my own stuff on it. I'm probably gonna change the the wing in the rear though, because yeah. So yeah, there's that. If we go back. You can see my other cars, and then we have the Shogun FD7. Um, of course, this is a Case Case car. Like, well, actually, I, I kind of get their names confused. I haven't watched Initial D in like a couple of months, so I don't remember if it's Case Case or Yosuke anymore. Pretty sure it's Case Case though. 
Yeah, like, yeah. You, you, you get what I mean. And then I tried to just do um, their car from episode 1. And then I just added a little bit of my own spin on it with the body kit. Uh, yeah. This, it, I just made my own stuff out of it. And then if I go to the Land Evo 3, um, tried to copy, I forgot his name, but it's the main, main driver for the Emperor team. And, there, and then I'm pretty sure there aren't any modifications for this car yet. So I'm, I'm, my pl next plan for uh, another car, which I plan to get, is either the next generation Honda Civic or the Land Evo 6, so I can actually modify it. Next up is my Toyota Supra. Now, I actually wasn't basing this off of, I believe it was, um, the, one of the, one of the drivers in, uh, what was it? In the fifth season. The, technically the fourth season, not since, um, the third, whatever they call the third season is actually the movie. But, yeah. Sorry, I'm blanking on all the terms for stuff in initial D right now. My bad. So, yeah. Um, I would just modify it, uh, white. Toyota Supra, and then here is the uh, R32 that you guys saw earlier. And then here is a limited, another limited edition car. Um, I just put a black hood on it. That's literally all I did. So yeah, it's a Ford Mustang. And then, of course, we have to have the A86. And I went for um, okay, that's what it is. Sorry, I finally remembered. So, I went for a uh, second stage, or I believe it's second stage, yeah, where um, Takumi blow, um, destroys the, ori the original engine, and then after they put in the, I think it was the 4AAG, or something like that. I'm probably going to make a lot of people angry if that many people watch this. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I put the black hood on. I tried my best to replicate the wheels, um, kind of close, I think, and then, of course, you have Tofu Shop on the side. And then, last but not least, is the SW20, the MR2, um, you got the Irozaka boy on here. Um, I do not, I have not actually done the Irozaka jump on the other, on one of the other Toga maps on here in the game. I have not done it yet. And I think we'll be using this car next. So, yeah. I haven't really modified it that much. It's kind of just stock completely. So, yeah. As you can see, it's getting dark, so might as well spawn yeah. out of my car. And then just hop on in. Yeah. So you just gotta activate the pop-up headlights, like that, and then just drive. And then now we can, since we're finally in a rear, now that we're finally in a rear-wheel drive, um, we can drift. Except they're going uphill, which, which is not a viable option, but who cares? So once we get to the faster parts of the mountain, then I'm probably going to start drifting more of the corners. For now, I'm just going to drift the parts. And I already died. So right behind me, I think, is a Land Evo 6. Because that one looks modified, so... As you can see, I suck at drifting uphill, but you're not really meant to trip up, drift uphill anyway, so... I need to stop drifting. So, if we just get up to the mountain, we'll get, we'll both be able to drift downhill and we'll get some points at the same time. Oh yeah, and in case you haven't noticed in this game, uh, cars cannot hit each other. At least not yet. I'm not sure if they're actually playing to implement that or not. But 
but at the moment, cars are not able to hit each other, which means you can just phase through another car. So it does help in terms of racing, because obviously it's a completely clean race as long as you don't hit the guardrail or fly off the mountain, either way. And also, yeah, it can improve your uh, track time. I suck. So this is what I was talking about when I mentioned that car impaling. I got lucky there because my car wasn't completely impaled from the front bumper to, to the, uh, to the rear, you know. Because if you're unlucky enough, then you can get, the car will be, um, stabbed completely through. And you're gonna have to respawn your thing. It's kinda sad. Yeah. And then, like, we should be at the top of the mountain soon. No! Okay, the Lion Evo has died. As you can see, that's what I meant by getting completely impaled. You have seen it here, folks. And I believe after. I think I'm gonna end the video after we do a downhill run, guys, so yeah. And then there's, if you want to know about um, updates to the game and all that, uh, you can join the, the Discord server for this game. Um, uh, it's called Midnight Racing. You can find it on, on, um, hang on, what's it called? Yeah, you can find it on Discord. Um, I'll type it, I'll type out the name of the website in a second. Or I could put it in the description. I'll probably do both. Sorry about the background noise. Uh, the phone's going off. I think that was the same Lan Evo, they just teleported. Oh well. We're almost there, guys. I don't see any snap over steer. Where is the snap over steer? Why isn't my car spinning out when I do a turn? Question mark, question mark everywhere. And we are now at the top. So I think. Um, uh, we'll probably just do our own race, I guess. Well, I might just do my own run. And now that, of course, um, now, now that we're going downhill, I can finally start drifting. Well, it's not, I'm, I suck at drifting though, so it won't really make a difference in my performance. Like that, I, I, I hit the, um, I hit the gutter somehow because of that bad. This proves my lack of skill in any game. At least when I'm drifting. And it, it's just basically becoming an, um, my I suck at video. And also, it's becoming just like my, um, my Toka fail in Grand Turismo Sport. <laughs> and like, my MR2 in that game is basically just this, this one as well. I made them as replicas for the Irozaka SW20, so yeah. Don't worry guys, the sadness of my drifts will end soon with the ending of this video.
so it's probably a good time to actually do the gutter runs, but you know, you gotta go for them drifts for them style points. Who needs practical driving when you got drifting? And this is actually a good area to drift because these are all hairpin turns, you know? So yeah. Then from here, you just gutter run at all the turns, and then you can just try and drift there, but obviously, obviously that's gonna fail. And also, you can't really tune cars, as far as I can tell so far. So, um, yeah. Uh, every game in this car is, uh, stock. Wait, did I just- uh, oh my god. Uh, every car in this game is stock, that's what I meant to say. Anyways, yeah. So you can't really tune cars, but you can modify their appearance. But that's the only extent you can actually change your cars so, so far. I am making a lot of mistakes in this run. I have now become a rally MR2. I have ascended. And now I have crashed. Rip me. F in the comments. We are almost there. We're almost there. No. One more drift. That was disappointing. Rip. Rip. Rip me. Oh gosh. This MR2 is gone. It's destroyed beyond all repair at this point. It's, it's total. I've fallen and I can't get up. Uh, <laughs> I managed to hit the inside guardrail. That's how bad I am. It wasn't even the outside line. It was the inside. It's been out of shame. Alright. So that's gonna be it for today, boys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, at least if I can park this thing. Yeah. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.